Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Veltima Fungicide and Pride Seeds. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to the Corn School. Today I am at the Allura Research Station catching up with OMAFRA Corn Specialist Ben Ross. Or Ben, how's it going? Not too bad. How are you, Bernard? I'm pretty good. Hey, uh, planters are about to roll. Some may already be rolling. I want to talk about today um, in row tire compaction at corn planting. And, you know, something that you've been looking at. I guess the question I have is, you know, what happens, you know, when you run over the ground you want to plant with a tire on your planter? Yeah, it's a good question. It was one that's come up from some ground. Uh, particularly all the tire compaction talk that's been going on in Ontario. If I'm going to go to wider tires to try to manage compaction, but I'm planting into those, is there an impact in that role for uh, for corn yields? Yeah. Now you've done some research, um, and uh, let's let's set the scenario here. You've got three different sort of tire compactions that you want to measure. Yeah. So these are just kind of some fun on-farm trials. So just some soil and crop type stuff we were working on. Uh, and we tried to find a grower who was planting into tire marks, so either into tires or one grower had tracks on the tractor. And then find a neighbor on really similar soil types nearby who has row crop tires and see if there was a difference for those uh, corn rows that were either being planted um, right into those tire tracks or in between those row crop dual tires. Now these are hopper planters, right? That's right, yeah. So we wanted to avoid any issues with central fill planters measuring compaction from that central fill tank. So all the cooperators in this little project were uh, row hopper planters mm -hmm. only. We've got two pieces of research here. Talk about these. Uh, what happened in Niagara here? We'll put up the numbers. Sure. So a little heavier soil types uh, in southern Ontario. Uh, we looked at one grower planting into his tire tracks and another neighbor, again, who was row crop duels. Uh, the neighbor was planting into tire tracks. Some fields, there wasn't much yield difference, but in some fields, you know, I think we had up to an 11 bushel decrease in yields for those tire tracked rows. Um, but of course, the question is, how does that compare to row crop tires? Mm -hmm. Uh, so when we looked at row crop tires for his neighbor, we still found a similar yield decrease for the rows that were in between those row crop duels. So while you could say there did seem to be a bit of a tire trafficking effect, it didn't seem a whole lot different than the neighbor who had row crop duels. That row was still impacted. Let's look at some uh, research data from Oxford. Yeah, so in Oxford County, similar scenario. Uh, this time it was a grower planting in the tracks on a tract planter. And then again, neighbor with row crop duels. And uh, in there, we didn't seem to see a big difference in yield. Again, nice soil types, good spring conditions. 2021 was a, a dry spring, um, but we didn't seem to see much of a yield impact for whether those rows were being planted into those tracked tire tracks or the neighbor who was planting with row crop duels. So nothing conclusive here, but you know, what can growers take from this type of research? You know, uh, tire pressures, you know, uh, tire choices. Yeah, so in this case here, the grower who was planting into his tires, you know, he had, uh, I think there were 600 tires in the front, seven tens in the rear, 10 PSI front, uh, I think it was 12 PSI in the rear. So, you know, I think it kind of supports that if you're managing tire pressure, uh, at least in a good spring on the fields we were on, it didn't seem like things were any worse than a row crop dual setup. Yeah, and a lot of different scenarios to consider, obviously soil types and, and what's happening out there, whether your, your soil is fit. Um, you're going to do some more research? Yeah, so again, this is kind of a fun project. No big conclusion at this point, but it'd be nice to get a bit more research to try to firm up if this is real, what we saw in 2021. Good stuff, Ben. Always great to have you on the Corn School. Great to be here.